guys hope you're all doing well so I am refilming the beginning of my big birthday haul it's gonna be a little weird because um, when I filmed that haul I had my wine I poured a whole glass of wine it was evening I was chilling um, this is a different day it's like three or four days later um, and <laughs> yeah but I need to refilm the part that it just corrupted file corrupted things happen so I'm gonna refilm what you didn't see and then the video is going to switch to that day when I was filming everything else. This is a huge haul, so get a drink, get a snack. Um, and it consists of mostly Ulta and Sephora, but I'm gonna show you a couple sprinkle things in, a couple things here from Dollar Tree, Five Below, and Elf. So those are the things. Yeah, let's just let's just get into it. So um, hopefully I hopefully I rewatched everything and I hopefully got everything that was missed. But anyway, we're gonna get into it. Baby, we're birthday hauling. So the first thing I found this little pack at five below. Five dollars. Um, you get this set of liquid blush, highlight, and bronzer. I thought it would be interesting to try. Um, also my nails aren't like this in that in the other clips. That's a mess. But y'all, y'all will get the point. Um and it came with a triangle puff that I can't find. But I will say all three of these, I swatched all three of these. They're definitely highlighter for me. But you get a dropper. And I just, they have a lot of new, I think it's like Smoke and Mirrors. That's not a new brand at Five Below. Um, but that brand, is it Smoke and Mirrors? Yes. That brand, um, I don't know if it's Five Below's house brand with beauty but um, they have a lot of like little kits and palettes and lip sets and things like that. I have some like holographic lip glosses from them that are really nice. So here is the highlighter, the blush, and the bronzer. They're all highlighters for me. Um, but these are these are a lot of product, heavy glass jars. You get 20 mils of each product in there, and I thought that would be fun to try. All right. Oh, I gotta get my wife back out. I gotta get my wife's back out. I might have to get some of these from Aldi. Um, well, I know I'm gonna get some from Aldi. Why I say it like that? But like, I'm definitely gonna have to refresh, get some more of these because they're really good. It's good and thick. And yeah, good and thick. Um, and then from the Dollar Tree, I found this Revlon Candid foundation. I don't think I've ever tried this before, but $1.25. I picked up two shades. I picked up the shade that I think is for me in $5.50, but I also picked up $5.60, which is deeper, but just in case I have to mix them. So if you use this foundation or you liked it or whatever, there was a lot of them in Dollar Tree. Um, so yeah, get yourself, get your, get yourself to your Dollar Tree, okay? Okay, um, and then let's get into my e.l.f. order. Now, I did get a couple things from Ulta. I just put all the e.l.f. stuff together because I did make an order and I don't remember what was what, but we'll get into it. Um, e.l.f. has a new eyeshadow primer. I have not tried this yet, but this is the Lock It Down Eyeshadow Primer. Um, if you got into makeup, if you're around my age and you really started collecting, getting into makeup, beauty YouTube era the same time I did, you know that of on the drugstore side, the e.l.f. e.l.f. eyeshadow primer was like it was some, I mean, in magazines, Allure, the best eyeshadow primer. We found better ones in Urban Decay Primer Potion, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and then the drugstore really started popping with them. But the e.l.f. Uh, eyeshadow primer was an OG. I have to put in the OG. So they haven't re vamped it too much but this is like the first like this is this is this is exciting so it's called lock it down eyeshadow primer and it is a doe foot okay um so i'm really excited to play with that i will be putting that on next time i wear eyeshadow i also picked up their brow laminating gel this is new as well it's clear and you get let's pop pop the top off you get a brush and comb kind of combo here for your brows. And then the gel is in here. And it is thick. It's thick. It's giving NYX brow glue, which I love. And I've actually been using the e.l.f. brow, the clear brow lift stuff every day to kind of like laminate my, uh, raise them up before I fill them in with powder. So I've really been enjoying my brow routine. I think this will fit right in. 
I think it will. Lips. I didn't really follow the Elf Jelly Pop collection. Had nothing from it. Um, but they re-released it. I think it's still limited edition. But re-released some products. And they have this the Glow Reviver Lip Oil. I do like Elf's lip oils. Um, and even though I still don't understand lip oils. But anyway. This Glow Reviver Lip Oil. And I think it's in a limited edition shade. It is called... Jelly Pop? No, it had a different name. Well, I don't know. I'm refilming this. But it's with the, like, Jelly Pop collection. It smells like watermelon. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. ALF released new lip glosses. These Sun Boss, is that what they're called? Sun Boss glosses. They have SPF 25 in them. I love that. Um, I love the idea of lip gloss. Lip products in general with SPF in them. That's really good. And I picked up two shades of these. The first one is... Oh, uh, Pink Me Girl. ALF in the names on the packaging is like some of the worst the worst they'll have the name on the boxes sometimes they don't even put the name on the packaging or well they do in like a clear sticker like those click pens no idea this is a little bit better but I just yeah it annoys me so much and then this next one is called it's your mauve I'm gonna show you they feel really good Okay, so we got Pink Me Girl and It's Your Mauve. Okay. Lip glosses. Sun Boss lip glosses. I think I hit my <laughs> face. Ah, uh, uh, friends. Okay. Um, I picked up. I'm excited about this. This is the Primer Infused Matte Bronzer. I think they came out with new shades. They also have the Primer Infused Matte Blushes as well. Uh, but the Primer Infused Matte Bronzer is a really nice natural bronzer on me. It's in the shade Desert Sun. Also, my nails are press-ons. Um, and I think they're so cute. And I, I'm still... I still miss my long nails, but I can see it fading a little bit. I can feel it fading a little bit. Um, and I'm, I really enjoy doing my own gel nails, but I'm also excited now that press-ons, I'm back on press-ons as well. I love having all these options for my nails. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're excited. Um, yeah, it's called Desert Sun, and this is a beautiful natural bronzer for me. Beautiful. Okay. And, oh, I'm sure you guys can guess it when I said e.l.f. I picked up, you know I picked up the new Soft uh, Glam Foundation. Why did I pick this shade? I don't know. But I got one that matched me. This one is Deep Warm. You know when you're shopping. Uh, and then I got Tan Natural. Tan Neutral? Yeah, Tan Neutral. I don't know why I, I got this. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe give it to my mom or whatever. We'll see. Um... And when I go, when, when it comes to Ulta, when it comes in store, excuse me, I'm definitely going to swatch some others to see, to see, just, I like to swatch the shades. Um, but this one is a match and I have been wearing this. I enjoy this. I've worn it about three times now. Um, this is, like I said, soft glam, satin foundation, medium buildable coverage, long wearing. So far, all those things are true. Um, medium buildable coverage. It can be built to full. It is a satin, um, satin matte. Uh, finish long wearing and it's been beha behaving with all of my different products uh, so far so far like I said I've only worn it three times but um, make sure we talk about that in a video so that is the elf now I'm gonna get into the very beginning of what I thought think you missed what I think you missed at um, of alt so I wanna see okay I bought this is dirty already but I bought a two pack of the real techniques um, concealer sponges love these things I love this shape and size this was dirty but I bought a two pack of these just want that's let's start there <laughs> um oh my god oh no oh okay we're good we're good I bought a two pack of those I bought a set the packaging is gone I think this was like the pop pastel pop 
collection um and this was on sale and I got these three brushes it was a kit and it had a little makeup spatula I put that away already um we got these three face brushes and this one is like a concealer and it's a square so we have that one and then we have uh this one that's just like a rounded kabuki brush this size is a little bit awkward for me because it's kind of too big to be concealer under the eyes um it's not the right shape for me for like cream blush and stuff the best thing for these would be like contour and bronzer um it's a little awkward sh awkward size and then this one which i think is going to be perfect for concealer we have this type of brush love this i love this shape of brush for foundation and i also love this shape of brush for cream blush obviously in different sizes um and this one i think would be great for concealer so we have that set with a, like i said it came with a makeup spatula i don't know if i got into this in the clip but my free gift for my birthday i picked the um drunk elephant proteiny polypeptide cream I'm gonna tell you guys something. I really wanna try Drunk Elephant. Two reasons why I'm so hesitant. One, it's expensive as hell. It is expensive skincare. I've heard great things about it. Um, also, two, what if I like something? Ugh. But I think I want to try them. Also, the third reason I'm kinda hesitant is because Drunk Elephant, you know, got that reputation, all the kids wanting it, and I just don't know if I wanna associate with that, cause it's like, they don't know what they're putting on their skin. It's a whole thing. Uh, um, but I think I do want to try them. They have that mini kit. It's like $75. But it has like all of their line in minis. And so maybe I can try that and just use their system. Because I just love trying new things. Um, I'm curious about it. And that's that's the reason. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. This is the peptide cream. The polypeptide cream facial moisturizer. This is going to go in the rotation. I don't smell like much. It's going to go in the rotation. I'm going to see how it feels, how I like it. And then um, we'll see. We'll see if we want to try the other stuff. I have another sample from them. I forgot what it is. Like a serum or something. So, And then the last thing, I think this is where kind of we cut off. Um, this little kit was $30. It came with this makeup bag, $30. And it's a bunch of skincare type products in here. I'll go through them super quickly um 30 bucks you get a mini super goop uh a mini super goop sunscreen this by itself is 18 dollars. the travel size of this is 18 dollars. um really excited we have this core cost rx vitamin c 23 serum hyaluronic acid i'm gonna go rapid fire here all right let me just pull them out pull them out we have Bump Eraser Body Scrub by First Aid Beauty. A fresh um, soy face cleanser. There's a lot of stuff in this little pouch. Uh, Peter Thomas Roth Potency Brightening Vitamin C Moisturizer. Oh my goodness. Minis are great for travel. Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. We got a mini of this. I tried this. I had their deluxe size of it. Well, not the deluxe samples bigger than this, but like I guess many travel size. Use the whole thing. It's not my favorite. Um, I know people swear by it, but it's not my favorite. Paracone MD Cold Plasma Plus Advanced Serum Concentrate. Very interesting. And it's really good. This was $30. And a lot of these products full size are more than $30. So you get to try them for a really great price. Uh, we have from Capari some Golden Aura body oil with 24 karat gold in it. Clinique 7 day scrub cream rinse off formula. <laughs> this bottle of Peach and Lily glass skin veil mist. Let's see. That'll be. Ooh. Tastes terrible. Close your mouth close your mouth when you spray that uh origins ginseng energizing gel cream four more things in here four more we have the be tight lift and firm booty mask ceo glow heal visage vitamin c am i right vitamin c turmeric face oil 
from CEO Glow. I think the video cut off when I'm looking. I'm saying, oh my god, how cute this is. But I'm gonna make sure these kind of link up. <laughs> and then we have Ole, uh, Ole Henriksen vitamin C serum. We got a lot of serums to play with. We got a lot. And I cannot wait. I stopped waiting. I have. Whew, let me calm down. In my mini collection, I do have like travel size skincare and things like that. Um, but things I already know I like. I have stopped waiting like to travel for me to try these things. These are be in the rotation um, daily. Okay? Trying things. And then this is, the last thing is this Beekman 1802 Milk Primer. It has broad spectrum SPF. It says weightless pore perfecting primer. Um, crazy with goat milk prebiotic milk postbiotic and mineral zinc and it is this glass jar all of this came for 30 bucks okay and then you get this beautiful little bag so that was in that and so now I'm going to take this video and send it back over to Candace with the wine so she can finish the haul Okay, bye. Because I, I like the size and shape of them. So I got those. Is that all the like brushes and tools? Oh, wait. No. Morphe. <laughs> Morphe came out with a three piece set of their cloud cushions, these little mini cloud cushion puffs. So exciting so I got a three pack and then I actually got one more as a free gift because of something else I purchased that I'll tell you about in a second but these little finger sponges how stinking cute I am so excited <laughs> you guys know I love many things I need to pull actually pull out my real techniques mini ones because I've actually I I can just use them for concealer now because they're just small and dainty, but we got to have some for the mini makeup collection as well, so I don't know. All right. Now we have makeup. Let's do this clearance stuff. Get this out of the way. I picked up Black Opal, these Black Opal concealers, and I'm like, I'm going to be mad because I'm probably going to love them and they're discontinued or you can't find them. These were $1.29. They were 90% off um, of $12.99. And I got three shades... I just want to show them to you. If you use the Black Opal Concealer, um, let me know. This is, yeah, three shades. I got Latte, Hazel, and Spiced. Um, they don't seem super full coverage, so maybe I won't like them. But um, that's one of the shades. They seem very matte, though. So I picked, picked those up because, you know, we like a good clearance find. All right, I can't wait to get to Sephora. I forgot we have so much more to go. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope I hope so. Um, okay, this also was on the clearance. It was a dollar twenty nine. This is um, one of the CoverGirl Exhibitionist uh, liquid glitter eyeshadows. Like a, it's a liquid eyeshadow. I only picked up one. They had a few shades. I think this was a collab with someone. Yeah, by Kelsa Ballerini, whatever. But. I thought this color was really pretty and I actually have been oh it is pretty I've been getting into my Mora single uh, liquid eyeshadows so they do really well it's like one shadow look so maybe a two shadow look really pretty um so I'm yeah I've been getting into them I need to shop my stash switch that shop my stash out I need to film <laughs> my best of 2024 so far I'm saying all these things not because I'm overwhelmed because I'm well I'm overwhelmed with excitement to film them so I'm trying to film them all this weekend we'll see I am quite happy right now all right so we got that okay we talked about it all right on the basket let me just pull out the rest so I let me talk about my brown lip liner I am loving I am loving brown lip liner nude classic black you know classic you know you know and i've really been enjoying it brown lip liner with a little pinky nude lip gloss as well and i do have one of my favorite brown lip liners is nyx line loud and then um in rebel kind and then i like oh it's another one 
But I bought two more NYX lip liners because I wanted a deeper brown. And I bought the regular line of lip liners. Like they're $5. There's a big difference. They're dry. They don't glide. The line louds are where it is. Um, but... Yeah, so I bought two more lip liners that were deep, like the tones I really liked. I bought these like a couple weeks ago, but I just, and I think I talked about them in a haul, but I was like, I want a creamier lip liner. And I don't know why I didn't look at the line louds. I was like, I'm just going to look at another brand and see if they have any creamier lip liners. Um, kind of like the ColourPop ones. Yeah, something along that. And I settled on, settled on. I have one of theirs, but Juvia's Place. And you know what? I didn't check to see. We're going to learn to that if I had what shade of lip liner that I already had from Juvia's Place and I just bought these three lip liners so this is Juvia's Place yeah I bought the one I already had Scorpio but it wasn't listed in my in my inventory Scorpio okay well we have it let me swatch Scorpio the one that's open so this is Scorpio it's a reddish brown let me put that in the front. So we have Scorpio. I'm going to put that in the back. Um, that's going in the backup area. Scorpio. And then we have um, Coffee Bean. Was it in my inventory? Did I completely ignore it? I don't know. Coffee Bean. <laughs> this is Coffee Bean right under Scorpio. And then we have... Um, Ruby. My makeup inventory is only as good as uh, it's only useful if I'm using it. <laughs> and I did not use it. This is Ruby. This reminds me of MAC Ruby Woo. That's why I got it. Um, but it, I, it's, it's not as blue as Ruby Woo. But now that I'm looking at it. <sighs> so we got two Scorpios, which is fine. I rediscovered Scorpio. I don't know why. I knew I had one Juvia's Place lip liner in the house. And while I was... I don't know why I didn't check my inventory to see which one it was. I don't know. I, I really... That was just so dumb. <laughs> okay. Craziness. We got those lip liners. Oh, these liquid highlighters. Let's talk about these liquid highlighters from About Face. Um, they have four. I only picked up three. Because the fourth one was like a lavender. But these are the About Face. Let me see if I can read it to you. A illumination. Um, just liquid highlighter. Okay. And I got three shades. Uh, I'll put them back in the packaging for you. This first one. The lightest one I have is called Shaken or Stirred. I don't know if you have to shake them. But they feel very liquidy. So I shake them. Um, Shaken or Stirred is what this one is called. But the packaging is so cute. I love this packaging. Shaken or stirred. That's shaken or stirred. Um, then this pinky one is called Roses in the Walls. And then we have... Um, the deepest one called Sunstruck. So much <laughs> packaging and trash. Got my trash bag ready though. This is Sunstruck. They're very thin. Like super liquidy um, Sunstruck. Which means you probably have it for a while. <laughs> have it for a long time. My phone okay hang on okay let's keep going my mama called me let's keep going all right so we did the liquid highlighters really excited about those and Fenty has some new items this new hot is it I don't know what the, what the line is called is it hot cheeks line I don't know they have new lip oils blushes and stuff I do think it's limited edition so the lip oil I have been wearing but I put it back in the packaging for you guys this is the gloss balm oil so it's from their gloss balm line it's a lip oil and um, luminizing lip oil and gloss and I got the shade frosted buns Be this is beautiful this is what it looks like it is a different formula than their lip glosses. Their lip glosses are thicker, uh, much thicker. Um, I would say they're thicker, they're more opaque, and they last a bit longer on the lips. But my lips felt really good wearing this. 
really good. And look at that. That's a beautiful shade. Also, and I would say her lip glosses are shinier. This lip oil starts off shiny in the beginning, but it does settle um, like into a just a plump, hydrated, moisturized, almost like lip balmy look on the lips. While her glosses stay glossy. Sorry. And then with that collection, I bought the gloss like a few weeks ago. And then when was I at Ulta? Yesterday? And the girl was like, we was talking about, she's in the Fenty collection. And I was like, yeah, I got the oil. And she was like, I love the blushes. And I was back and forth. I was like, I don't know. And I swatched them again. And um, yeah, we got one. This is Baked Peach. This is the Hot Cheeks Velour Blush Lighter. Remember that name, Blush Lighter. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about another lighter thing. Um, so it is definitely a blushy highlighter, very glowy kind of thing. Look at this packaging, though. Can we get into that? Can we get into how beautiful that is? All right, and I got, like I said, the shade Baked Peach. Gorgeous. It reminds me um, of those MAC super glowy blushes before. How pretty that is, so. So good. Good, good, good. Whew. Okay, last things from Ulta from Morphe. Um, I don't know how I passed this up. This is the 18WT palette. It is from their artistry line. It is called Matte Essentials. They have a warm one um, and they had a cool tone one. And then they had two other just like mixed finished palettes. One was like earthy tones and the other one was like the best neutral palette. But that one was out of stock. I was like the best neutral palette or something like that. I'm a univert well, I don't know what it was called. Anyway, but this is the Matte Essentials, and I'm going to tell you guys something. Morphe gets a lot of hate. Morphe has a lot of love, too. But I swatched these, and they are the best matte shadows I've ever swatched from Morphe. Ever. Morphe's matte shadows, they can be hit and miss. Don't get me wrong. They have really good bright. Remember the 35B, rest in peace. And then the Lisa Frey. Beautiful, you know. Um, but some also can be chalky. But these are soft and, and, oh, just lux feeling. Um, this, oh god, why do they do this like this? They give you this sheet with the shade names on it, which is gonna piss me off. But this is <laughs> the warm mattes. Let me just, let me just swat. Oh, rich, beautiful. The deepest one. I'm super excited to play with this. To have, you know, some go-to mattes. You can never have enough matte shadows, baby. So I'm going to keep that in there. Oof. Makes me mad. But whatever. I need to go Aldi tomorrow. <laughs> um, to Aldi. Because these wipes are really good. This is not part of the haul. I talked about these in a haul though. La Cura Face Care Makeup Removing Cleansing Towelettes. $1.49 at Aldi. It says compared to Neutrogena, baby, they're better. They're thicker. Um, they're wonderful. I'm not using them right now for swatches. I'm using my cheap Dollar Tree ones, but I just, in my mind, that thought came in my mind. <laughs> I need to go to Aldi and get some more of those wipes. Anyway, last things from Morphe from Ulta. Um, the new Euphoric Rush uh cream blushes these felt really good when i swatched them um i wanted to use them on camera with you for the first time they are it says buildable buttery smooth cream blush that primes hydrates and blurs there's like a swirled formula with prime it's swirled with like a primer i got two shades i think they have six or seven total shades all right and buying these came with that free gift of an extra free a free finger cushion thing this shade is called hypnotize so as you can see let me get in so you can see it's swirled with like a clear I guess that's the blurring primer situation so I'm going to try to swatch the but as soon as you swatch it you kind of mix it up um it's 
really pretty. This is hypnotized. And then we have a deeper shade, which is called ooh, ooh, Touched. Y'all remember Touched by an Angel? My grandmother used to watch Touched by an Angel. This one's called Touched. It's deeper. Really pretty. So excited. We love new makeup. And playing around with it. Oh my god. So exciting. Okay, that was Ulta. We are like, I don't know, because I had to start a new clip. We're a lot of minutes in. Maybe like 40 plus minutes in. And baby, the Sephora bag is heavy. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm gonna give it its due diligence. I'm gonna give it its due, due. I'm gonna still try to keep it speeding up. This little kit, I used a coupon code on my order. If you spend over $50 or whatever, you get a beautiful set of concealer samples. You get to try different concealers. So you have the Urban Decay. Um, that's not Urban Decay. That is Makeup Forever HD Skin Concealer. And I really want to use these or at least scrape them in like my mini collection. This is the YSL All Hours Concealer. Didn't know YSL. Well, don't really own anything from YSL. That's not a sample. We have Tower 20, Tower 28 Concealer. Uh, Tarte High Performance. I use so much concealer that one of these samples is just not enough. Maybe this Gucci one. This is Gucci Concentrate. And this is the Rare Beauty, which I do like this concealer. I own this concealer. so. Uh, and then we have a mini uh, YSL Touche Claw Blur, Blur Primer. Um, I have this primer. I love this primer. I have it in a, a, a mini, just like this. Have another mini of it. I do really enjoy this primer. Not enough to pay the exuberant price for it to get it full price, but I'm glad I have. I glad I have another one. Um, so we have that, and then we have this mini beauty blender, and it's a little bit different than the regular mini beauty blenders because this one's a little flatter, and I don't know. I tried to puff it out, maybe. It's just a little bit different shaped. I don't know. Maybe it is just super compressed because it was like in the package. I don't know. But it's a mini beauty blender. And we have that for the little concealer samples. I thought that was a really cute gift. It was, if you had to spend, I think it was like, it might have not been 50, maybe $35 or $45 maybe. And you get the free, you get, you get to put this code in. It was a code. You could use that. Or you could use other codes for other things. But that's what I chose. All right, let's get into it. I, I'ma just dig. Well, no, I'm not. My birthday gift. Let's do that. Let's do kind of like free minis real quick. Really quick. Let me see. Is that it? Free, okay, yeah. Let's ooh, Let's get into um, just this free sample of Versace perfume, but whatever. That's not what I wanna share. Um, for 100 points. I got a single eyeshadow, Natasha Denona, from the Golden Palette, the shade Oro. Look at this mini shadow. You know we love a mini. And this was 100 points, so the cheapest point perk. I mean, you know, Alta's points are much better, we know. But when it's something cute like this, I will spend the points. And then the birthday gift I picked was the Charlotte Tilbury set. This is the um, Beauty Insider, you know, birthday gift, whatever. I don't know what it's called. It says happy birthday darling on the front um, and we get a sample a foil packet sample of the magic cream I do want to try this I'm very scared because what if I love it it's like I don't know ridiculous amount and then I get but you know what you know what I'm gonna give it its due diligence it's due you know testing if I like it then I like it then I buy it and I use it You know, what, what, what's the big deal? This is their Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. So I have a mini of this. Very excited to try this. And then her iconic um, Pillow Talk lipstick. I feel like I have another mini of this. But I don't know. This is an iconic lipstick. Pillow Talk. I'm definitely going to use a brown lip liner and work it out. But we have minis. We love minis. So we have those. 
birthday gift that was the birthday gift all right now on to the makeup from sephora everything is kind of in the packaging here but i'm really excited so from sephora collection sephora collection has some new products let's open them together um this is the best skin ever concealer the new one is in the glow shade I mean the glow formula I like this concealer and this foundation from their best skin ever line um and so we got I got this concealer this is the glow I only got one shade I usually get two shades of concealer to try but I got 32 I think it's called like butterscotch or something oh let's peel we don't want to ruin it looks ugly all right but this is called butterscotch already by formula and like it reminds me of just by how it feels the tart that tart thin concealer what is it called in the rectangular tube or honestly old school Maybelline fit me it's what it immediately reminded me of but I won't know until we try it I mean, I'm thinking of the L'Oreal oof I can't think um then they had new bronzers this is their Sephora matte bronzer very excited about this I swatched it this is in the shade 04 it is the deepest shade let me just use my little knife here and cut it it's the deepest shade do do oh the mirror has a little peel but <sighs> look at the can we just look at that Sephora and then it says matte can we see the matte part? That's so pretty. I'm gonna swatch it on one of these little speed bumps. Can you see that? I can. <laughs> Good bronzer. And they also have highlighter, which, what is this called? I was, I saw these a few weeks ago. I don't know when they came out, but I was a little nervous because I just feel like it's easily gonna be able to easily be broken. Ugh, this is also shade it's very soft this is also shade four in the highlighter collection and it is called um blinding bronze i'm sorry the matte shade tropical bronze is what the bronzer shade was named and then this is called blinding bronze look how pretty that is beautiful beautiful sephora collection all right where we want to go let's go to let's go to rare beauty let's go to rare beauty <laughs> um i picked up the positive light in luminizer what is this called blush positive light in luminizer i'm so stupid positive light silky touch highlighter i'm reading the i was reading the wrong <laughs> The wrong shade i mean the wrong language <laughs> positive light silky touch highlighter i got the shade reveal an ultra silky powder highlighter that melts into the skin i do own one of her powder highlighters this one is in flaunt i've had it for a long time um really enjoy this so i got another shade in the shade reveal It's so soft. It feels like you're touching. It doesn't feel like you're swatching something or picking something up. It feels like you're just rubbing your finger over a smooth ball. Like, it's just so fine. It's so... F Look at that. Look at the glow there. That's the highlighter. Look at that. And then I got some minis um, of their... She came out with... She released their blushes. I don't know if all the shades, but their blush, some of their blushes and highlighters, mini liquid in minis. So the blushes, liquid blushes in mini and the highlighters um, in, in mini. I love the highlighters. Um, I, I love the blushes. But this one I got because I do have it in the large size. This is the Positive Light um, Liquid Highlighter, Liquid Luminizer in the shade Flaunt. I do own this shade and I wanted a mini of it because like packing my mini makeup bag blah 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 but oh look how pretty that is it's so beautiful 
I don't want to take these out of the packaging yet because I will lose them. And then I got two blushes. One I have in a large size, um, I believe. And yeah, because I just put this stuff in my inventory. And um, I wanted a mini. So this is, oh my gosh, something's in my eye. This is the shade uh, Encourage. It's like a lavender. Ah, uh, deeper than lavender. I just slide. More of a mauve. Cool toned. Very pretty. Um, and so we have that to go in my mini makeup collection and just to have. Because those blushes are um, pigmented. They're pigmented and um, yeah, a little goes a long way. And then the blush I did not have, super bright pink. This is called Grateful. Um, and I am so upset and I don't know why I didn't get it. Um, the four piece set that she came out with over the holidays with two highlighters and two blushes. Y'all know it's selling for like $150 on eBay because people just, ugh. But she'll release another little mini set during the holidays and I will scoop them up because, oh, jeez. I take my pill. Um, I will scoop them up because I'm really excited about it. All right, let's talk about this. The, uh, remember I told you about the blush lighter? Fancy has the blush lighter. Well, Danessa Myricks has a low lighter. And this is her, I need to get the rest of her yummy skin stuff because I heard it's good. This is the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder Low Lighter. Um, I actually have the Blurring Balm Tinted stuff in my, shot my sash right now that I need to switch out. But these are highlighters, but it's called low lighter. I think because it's like meant to be almost like behind the scenes glow from within kind of thing. And they are really nice. Um, I got two shades. I think she has four shades total. This is incognito. I already swatched these and played with these. So Ooh, what is in my eye? This eyelash is just swimming in my eye. Incognito right there. That golden beauty. And then we have, oh my god, this eyelash is really, really screwing with me. Maybe some wine will help. Low key. There was a deeper shade. I didn't get the deepest one, I don't think. Low key. It's really exciting. It's a rose gold low key low key very beautiful glow from within i can't wait i'll probably do monday is my birthday and i'll probably do a get ready with me using like a lot of new products for my birthday we're just going to work we're not going to anything extravagant so we can try new things and i think i might do that i think i want to all right and then where are we? Let's say what we did the blush. Okay, Rare Beauty, we did that, right? Okay. <laughs> Low lighters, highlighters. Huda has the blush filter liquid blush. She released some liquid blushes. And um, I did not get the deepest shade. I usually get like the deepest stuff in things, like when it comes to blush and highlighters to see, see their range. But I got the, I think the next two, the deepest. This is called Watermelon Pop. I need to open this. If I can open it, jeez oh, Louise. <laughs> Very cute packaging. Reminds me of the About Face packaging. But I think I need to shake it. Does it say shake it? Lightweight, melts on skin, soft focus finish. Okay, I don't say nothing about shaking it. And I was shocked because this was only $22. So this is cheaper than the Rare Beauty blush. Um, that's watermelon. That's watermelon pop. Please have the name on this. Yeah, absolutely exciting, exciting liquid blush. So exciting! I am thrilled with my purchases. <laughs> All right, we're gonna jump to a setting powder. I've been talking about the one size powders for so long. Excuse me. I did not pull the trigger on the big deep shade, but I did buy another 
shade. I got the Sweet Honey. This is a lighter yellow powder. It's like a banana powder. I have Marigold and Rich Peach and Ultra Pink right now. Um, and the Marigold is a yellow powder for deeper skin tones. And it's, it's pretty. And it sets me and it gives me a little bit of brightness. But it's just not as bright yellow as I'm used to and I like in my super bright highlighted looks and so I went and got sweet honey which is the lighter the lighter yellow um, they have a translucent and a super light peach as well um, outside of what I have in the super deep shade um, and so this is sweet honey and I was torn between getting sweet honey and marigold when I was in Sephora a few weeks ago a month ago whenever I got the marigold and um, I feel like I need the sweet honey as well so yeah and this one looks i won't open it yet but let me just see if we can get the difference i'll show you marigold it's not that much of a difference but it is a difference marigold is more yellow so this is sweet this is marigold and this is sweet honey yeah so Ooh. super pumped I can't wait to talk about those powders in a video. Definitely going to be in my best of 2024 so far, but um, I think eventually, maybe later on, because I still need to try, um, really focus in and compare the different pink powders that I have. But then maybe like a pink setting powder video. Last two items, I promise. Last two items. Um, this, I got another House Labs highlighter. This is the Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighter. I only have one shade of it currently. Well, did. And it's, it's like one of my favorite highlighters. This is Fire Opal. So, I have this shade. And I just purchased, what did I purchase? Uh, amber? Raw Amber? Raw Amber. beautiful packaging. Look at the packaging. Look at it. Look at that highlighter. I'll swatch for you. Did I put this on over top of something else? I think I did. Oh well. But raw amber. really excited okay and then finally finally uh last but not least um nars released from their laguna line face palettes eye and face palettes and i haven't seen a good eye and face palette in a long time and even longer since i found seen one that i was interested in purchasing and nars came out with laguna i think it's one and two um light and then the medium to deep one. It's called Laguna Ultimate Face Palette. You get four eyeshadows. Uh, I'm going to show it to you. I'm trying to figure out. I guess that's another bronzer. Maybe I'll just set my face with it. I don't know. Let me just show you. So exciting. So exciting. You get. This is going to be a video. A good look in itself. What type? Oh, it is 830. I saw my. Look at this beauty. Four eyeshadows. I would use this as bronzer. Both of these are bronzers, so contour, bronzer, yeah. and then a beautiful golden highlight. Um, super excited to play with this. This shade, you know what? I can definitely bronze with that, so that's good. Uh, super excited to play with that, and that'll be a video. So, <laughs> um, really exciting, and I think we're done. That was my big birthday makeup haul. I know I said I was going to order from Catrice. Catrice was having a friends and family sale, 25% off your entire site. I tried to make an order four or five different ways with that code. The code that they advertise on social media. The code that was emailed to me. The code that's everywhere. Did not work at all. I got so upset, closed it out, allocated that money to these other things. I ordered from Catrice at another point in my life, but I was so upset and frustrated. Um, 
you know, it's only halfway through the month. So, um, there might be other purchases and other fun and other things, but this stuff was accumulating and I needed to talk about it. So, that is my beauty haul, for big birthday haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And I will talk to you guys in the next one.